Hey everyone, it's time for another Top Trumps video. And I'm slowly working my way through the Doctor Who ones that I have sitting in a box in my cupboard. And this one is pack four, or series four, or the glittery red pack. And I've not actually looked through these yet, so I don't know what we're going to find apart from. Almost certainly a beautiful David Tennant car. Now, the last few Top Trumps videos I've done, I've done the entire thing to camera. But on this occasion, I'm going to not do that. I shall turn the camera around because quite a few people have commented that they like the sound of my whispers and soft speaking when I'm really up close to the microphone on the camera. Um, and despite the fact that I'm pretty sure it's an omnidirectional microphone, it does actually sound different when I'm sitting behind it rather than in front of it. I don't understand that. Probably something with the settings that I need to change. But, so for this video, I will do it from behind the camera. So please do feel free to let me know if you prefer Top Trump's videos face to camera more with me behind it so you can see the cards up close at all times and whichever gets the popular response is what I will do for the next one. So here we have the pack and as I said I've not looked through this so I'm not sure who exactly we're going to find but we have our top card. Have an advert for more and an advert for the uh, PlayStation and DS game. Okay, so first up we have Professor Yana, who was never really one of my favourite characters, but he was he was interesting enough, and he has a monster rating. General Star. I love the Centaur and I just think they look adorable. <laughs> he has a monster rating of 8. He leads the 10th Centaur in Battle Fleet and Centaur in High Command's attempt to turn Earth into a clone world in the early 21st century. <laughs> Jeremy Baines from the Family of Blood. We have some Series 3 in here as well. He is described as being a snob and a bully. <laughs> a monster rating of 5. Personally, I would have rated him higher. Never mind. Oh, yum. Captain Jack Harkness. There's never enough John Barman in the world. Now in charge of Torture 3. Captain Jack cannot die and has been searching for the Doctor since he was revived by Rose. When the TARDIS lands in Cardiff by two of you, Captain Jack seizes his chance, but as he climbs aboard, the TARDIS takes him, the Doctor and Martha to a place that no one has ever been before. But he's beautiful, isn't he? Chanlu. I just didn't, I didn't maybe get on board with Chanlu. I don't know why, I just... Never particularly liked her as a character. Future kind. The monster rating of five. Gary Mulligan here. We have Sally Sparrow. There was a monster rating of one. But a darkness of zero. It's not my favourite episode, but I do like Sally as a character. Larry Nightingale. I think he's a great character. I think he adds a lot to the episodes. To the episode. The whole Easter egg thing. Yeah, I really liked his character as well. Captain Kath McDonnell. Definitely liked this character as well. The monster rating of 
growing. I think as far as the costume goes, it's quite attractive. But not really a character I care much for. Darkness of save of 90. That was the cat. Darkness of 90, maybe the highest darkness we've had so far. Ah, oh, Jessica Hines, Nurse Redfern, one of my favourite characters again. And I just love the family of blood as an episode. I just really, really love it a lot. Yes. Colonel Mace. Atmos. Atmos is such an awesome word. I think John Sim is a great, I mean, the role is great, but the, the master in this episode I did not like. But I do like him when he reappears in the later series. And then we get into the whole Missy thing and it just, it's a very tangled web. <laughs> and that's the darkness of 200. Astrid Peth, our walking TARDIS. That's Kylie, that's Christmas 2007. The highlight of the whole pack, I am sure, is the 1.85 metres of David Tennant. Luke. Centaur and Trooper. They definitely look more scary and less potato like when they don't have. I mean, they do have their helmets on, sorry. Oud Sigma, this is our series 4 Oud. Uh, I didn't really feel like the time was right to bring them back, but at the same time, I felt the episode worked, so I'm a little bit of a hypocrite there. See, the Halpen Oud Operations. Food operations sounds like the story of my life. Sicilians, that's a very recognisable face, wouldn't you agree? I think we may see him in a couple of series time. <laughs> that is, of course, Capaldi. Pyrophone. The pyrophones are a race composed of rock and fire. Making their base deep inside Mount Vesuvius, a group of pyrovils plan to weld themselves to humans. That sounds fun, but also really painful. <sighs> the adipose child. Miss Foster is creating small, cute adipose children out of people's excess fat. But the adipose can also convert bone, organs and hair, changing a whole human body into adipose material. The Doctor and Donna are able to stop the conversions and the children already created are taken into care by the Adiposian first family. Medora, do you mind? Apparently not. And then we have Miss Foster herself. Donna, of course. And Donna's card says, Donna meets the Doctor when she finds herself mysteriously transported from her own wedding into the TARDIS. After a hectic adventure, she remains on Earth, but soon regrets the decision. When they meet again, both investigating adipose industries, Donna joins the Doctor aboard the TARDIS and travels through time and space with him. Nobody will beat Rose as my favourite companion, but I do like Donna's just fantastic. I mean, Tennant and Catherine Tate have such a wonderful on-screen rapport that it's just incredible every episode. And we have Wilfred Mott. It's very emotional. A lot of emotion behind that character. <sighs> Max Capricorn. I wonder who he's based on. The Heavenly Host from the episode with Kylie Minogue. Banna Cafalata. The action figure for Banna Cafalata is one of the most beautiful things in the world. <laughs> Love Banna Gavalad. The Talk of the Vein. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I swear this was based on a script I sent into Blue Peter that got me a badge. I'm absolutely certain. <laughs> I called them the Astrovoid. Oh, little booty sangster, how cute. Don't 
Timothy Latimer. How adorable. That's a brilliant episode. I, j I love the family of blood. <laughs> and then we're back to the beginning. Where is he? And there he is. Lieutenant there. We're going to put the barrel in. Just underneath. Yes. That is definitely very appealing. the floor. Hang on, bear with me. Ah, there we go. Okay, as long as you can keep tent at the top. I don't care what order they're in. There we go. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a hot day, isn't it, Medora? It's a very hot day. I often think I pamper Medora too much. She gets too much attention. Yeah. Oh, close it eye. Yeah. A little bonus cat ASMR for anybody who likes cat ASMR. It is a very warm day today. Very, very warm indeed. So, there we have. I think I have one more pack of Doctor Who top trumps. Get hold of some more Harry Potter ones. And if you have any requests for any other specific packs you'd like to see, do let me know. That is it for just now, so I will speak to you all soon. Bye.